Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. That was not very well timed in the jump department, but I think I had it in the gusto department at least. Last time, we continued at long last our travels and treks through World 3. Kind of uninterrupted, I guess. Uh, we went through Haunty Halls, did a lot of things there. We went through Beat Block. And all that's left besides the grand finale to this wonderful world. And, oh, wow. Oh, no, no. Whoa, that, that's aggressive. I knew that if you pressed A and you pointed on a level that he'd automatically go to it, but yeesh, that's a very powerful autopilot. There's one more level besides the grand finale, Rolling Masterpiece Galaxy, and that's where we're going. The Masterpiece is a Silver Trump grudge match. We are combining um, the arts of painting with performance art to make uh, something new in the middle. Um, parenting art. That's all I got. Uh, performance, painting, pain forming. Actually, yeah, if it's a grudge match, there'd be a lot of pain, so I like pain forming. Hey, hey it's me, Billboard. If you want to ride in the star ball, listen up. Okay, first thing you do is jump onto the star ball. No, I thought it was Katamari. All right, so you made it aboard. Now, uh, I did something. I didn't, wouldn't really mean that. Think of starting position. I'm personally not a fan of this running gag of the boards having names that are like puns on billboard. I'm a big fan of puns. I just don't think that it's particularly funny, this particular one. So that'll teach you to not be funny. I snapped your neck and killed you. If you think about the anatomy of a billboard, that's really what I would be doing, no questions asked. It's the most gruesome way that Mario ever kills anybody. So we're rolling on top of this ball, and you can still point at the screen to grab star bits for some reason. Yeah, uh, I like they actually stick star bits around thinking that you're going to be collecting them. Well, I am. So, ah, I was in agreement with the game for this time. Uh, well, we're gonna go over this way on uh, what I like to call the Google Chrome planet. <laughs> it just, it looks so much like it. And I have to say, uh, Nintendo and Google joining forces, that would probably be about the combination that would actually spell the end of us as a people. That would be actual world domination right there. <laughs> we would have no chance. I'm gonna go get you, and oh, okay. Barely landed in the recesses of this uh, paint palette. It's so pretty, everything's made out of school supplies, but in space. You gotta wonder what objects have actually been stolen from like aliens and stuff, or. Now I'm just sounding like a conspiracy theorist. It's not really what I was going for. It is fun to think about, though, that advances in technology are for that reason, but obviously I don't know that to be true. Uh, well, we'll go up this way, and... Okay, we have a puzzle right here. But if I'm not mistaken, uh, I... Well, learn something new every day. I was mistaken about that. I thought you had unlimited time at the beginning, top of this uh, elevator. So I'm gonna go back. The slow music is making me so nervous. Gonna get as much of a, not so much running start as rolling start, and I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can to make it onto that purple tape roll! I almost did it! You can skip that. You don't need to solve the puzzle. You can just go straight forward if your timing is on. I was just not on. Making it across. Gonna get into the recess and then point at the star pits, like a good little plumber. And, oh joy, the puzzle plank mechanic's coming back and I somehow missed the checkpoint, no. So glad to see these things come back though. I wasn't sure I was gonna do it here. Uh, that bob bomb suffered from a horrible frame rate. I don't know what was up with the clockwork key. Oh gosh, that was almost done. Okay, that's gonna fall, fall away. And then we got to get this. And various other choice words, I <laughs> I missed it by one note. It seems to be a recurring trend. At least you got to hear the song for the most part. Uh, gonna go further up, get a one up. And when I said up, I wasn't kidding. Grab those lines. And we have arrived at the title. Here's that silver chomp I was talking about that seemed to behave just like the uh, Sorbetti boss. And we go into this pink colored pencil that doesn't have a lead because nobody ever used pink colored pencils. I 
remember one time in school I had this horrible teacher. Just couldn't stand her so much. She was legitimately one of the worst teachers I ever had, and she ended up teaching me for three years because of course she did. Not because I got held back, but because she just kept changing the grade that she taught. There was one time when I didn't have like an actual number two pencil on me, and it wasn't like we were doing a Scantron or anything, and I asked her if I could use a black colored pencil instead, which no big deal, right? And she went, you may not use that. It was the stupidest thing ever, and it's one of the things I think of whenever I see colored pencils and school supplies, and ugh, I just I could not stand that teacher so much. I have so many stories about her, and uh, I, I just remembered that she existed a couple of years ago, and she's been kind of a choice. Whoa, not where I expected that to be. A letter addressed to the Luma baby Luma has arrived. To my lost Luma, we worry about you, but we know you are safe with your new friend. I hope the attached item is helpful. May the stars shine down on you. Wow, there were 50 star bits attached to that letter. No return address, but I hope I get to meet this mysterious person soon. Because we can't feed them to young master Luma Luma, you know what that means. He is forced to watch while we feed his dessert to other people! Because it, it fed him through the forehead. Uh, on that note, Lubba, look at him closely. He has no mouth in first person mode. I go out of first person mode and he's got a little recess in his face again. Literally unplayable. Into the fiery flotilla. Rolling an L is not so easy. Unless you're using romanization of Japanese, I guess. Fiery Flotilla speedrun. I kind of showed the strategies that I would be doing in this anyway last time we were here. So I think I'm just going to put some gas into it and away we go. Oh. No. Never mind. I'm happy I showed you how exploitable the level geometry was and how you can long jump to that planet and get on top of the castle and everything because we wouldn't get an opportunity here. Just fighting Gobble Goat. Go gobble Goat. <laughs> gobble Goat. <laughs> Uh, some of you were telling me that Gobblegut actually has made an appearance in another Mario title other than Mario Kart 8, and it wasn't the one that I assumed it was. I'll give you a minute to think about this, thinking about any other place that you've ever seen Gobblegut in a Mario game, because it's probably not the one that you're thinking of. He is in the Super Mario texture pack for Minecraft. He is what the Ender Dragon looks like if you play with that texture pack. I completely forgot about it. There's a lot of one-off Galaxy 2 characters that only appear in Minecraft uh, officially, and he's one of them. Tons of star bits. I'd call this a one-up grinding spot, but we've seen better already, and it's only going to get more crazy. Uh, now, I'm gonna try to get under you. This seems like it's pretty good. Huh. Ender Dragon, more like Under Dragon, right? Eh. Um, well, not quite so good. You didn't take kindly to that. Uh, but I got you anyway, so I didn't get any punishment for my, uh, badness. Uh, gonna not backflip into you. Whoa, this is going into a train wreck very fast, and not just because that's what your nose sounds like. It's fine. Yeah, the first two segments on his body were safe for last, so we're okay. We got a whole minute. He's gonna go back down any second now. There he goes. Pow. Kerpow. His gulp right there, his burp is so funny. He was looking a little bit red there. I hope he doesn't turn too angry from us murdering him twice now. Last thing I want to deal with is a vengeful spirit. Got hit a couple of times, but overall had a pretty simple time of it. We've earned the right to show off our stuff. Another galaxy complete. Oh. My, uh, Bowser Jr. has a grand master plan. Just lasso comments, throw them at other galaxies, and we'll never come to stop him. I wonder how many times this is gonna go on for before we get a chance to actually progress. Masterpiece speedrun. Oh. 
Well, I said I didn't like them reusing level terrain completely and changing it up whenever we did this. And hey, no sign anymore. It's definitely an improvement. And I gotta say, having seen this area once before, um, if anything's a masterpiece in this entire galaxy, it certainly ain't the thing that's rolling. Just saying. Oh, whoa, that was... What else can I do if I build up enough speed? Uh, I can get this one up. Not that I meant to. Just trying to get it to the recess that had the uh, key in it, which isn't that one either. Uh, oh, they actually moved it. Shoot, really playing with your expectations here. Gotta learn to not just use memory. There's lots of Goombas, lots of coin ops, but I'm not up for the coin op bomb. Before that, I was the one getting bombed. Could go for the one up, not worth it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Almost overcompensated there. Just gonna take you guys out because I have nothing better to do on my elevator on the right up. That's the worst thing that you can be is be an enemy within leg shot of me when I'm impatient. I could go for a do over on that purple tape, but I think you got the point last time and I don't want to lose again, so I won't. <laughs> this planet's entirely not new. It's actually a planet from Galaxy 1 from the Rolling Green Galaxy, just with bob bombs on it, which, what is it? <laughs> I mean, okay, I know that a bob bomb's purpose in life is to kind of off itself in one way or another, but youch. Oh boy! That bob bomb saved me! Without him, I would only have 13 lives and not 16. Whoa! <laughs> that was very, uh, wow, that was kind of nerve-wracking. I wasn't sure if that was going to do anything to me getting off of that planet. Uh, go... Uh, how are you not dead? Thank you for dying. Have a nice day. 14... Oh, it's not over, it's not over, it's not over, because the star hasn't spawned in yet as far as the game is concerned. 13, 90... I suck at counting down! I think I said 13, 10, teen when I actually thought about the syllables that I formed with my, uh, with my... Well, lips. <laughs> I felt the need to be specific about that for some reason. Well, there's another star. Junior, do you have another comet at your command? 49 stars already. <laughs> I feel like this is going by so fast and I don't like that. Like, I thought World 3 felt very far off, and man, I can't wait to talk about how pretty it is, and how good the background music is, and how you should go listen to it, which I hadn't talked about till right now, so never mind. I've been looking forward to that until this moment, but now it's over, so I'm back to just square one in the first place. Well, I have to know something. That autopilot. Will it actually take me through the warp pipe and go all the way? Yes! I appreciate whoever went for that pathfinding AI. Bowser Jr.'s fearsome fleet, end of World 3, and God, now it's even worse than I thought it was, because now World 3's over, and I said I was looking forward to talking about it. Bowser Jr.'s mighty mega hammer. I am here to tell you about speed runners and what they do on this level. I mentioned that Yoshi's Flutter Jump is very exploitable and has glitches associated with it. This level is probably the single most exploitable one. They just glitch their way through the entire level and skip everything. Uh, that's part of the reason why I'm not exploiting that glitch or really showing it off in any big capacity because I just, I think that a lot of the other bugs that I've been showing you have been fun or funny, whereas that one, I don't wanna just float over a level and never get to do anything. I wanna actually like, at least halfway play a level, and if I'm gonna skip any portion of it, I want it to be kind of short and just show you something fun. Uh, these guys right here are a good chance to demonstrate that Yoshi does still have an instant kill elemental weakness. He's weak to electricity, which is a lot more believable than it being water, considering it's the building block for all life. That instantly kills him, and that's something to watch out for. He can also flip these switches with his tongue, and contrary to what I believe for a while, Oh, contrary to what I believe for a while, I am in trouble right now. I never got to see the guy that I killed. Yeah, these platforms are on an assembly line and they endlessly spawn in. If you ever miss an area, you don't need to take a death-defying leap of faith in order to 
uh, catch up with the platform that you uh, got left behind by? No, it's absolutely fine. These guys are undergrunt gunners, downgraded from bosses in other games to now just seriously being regular enemies. I wonder how many times that's actually happened, because I feel like I talk about regular enemies getting upgraded into bosses a lot, but never the other way around. Uh, we can lick these spike balls, just poke them with our tongue, feeling a little flirty with them. I'll go ahead and poke that. And then you can give me this bullet bill, and I can use it on the spike balls, turning them into star bits as well. And grab you, shatter the glass with it. You really should have had some bill-proof glass, I gotta say. Uh, no. Uh, but, but, but. They got red eyes, that means that they're homing. That's usually the distinguishing factor. Not all of them get red eyes when they get close to you. Is this gonna kill me? Oh, it is, it is, it is, I heard it! Man, uh, that worked out pretty well for me, all things considered. <laughs> Same thing with a hammer, bro. You guys, you guys gotta step up your game, man. You are, you are not the hammer bros that I have come to hate with a burning, fiery passion. I'm sorry, you just, you're kind of irrelevant to stopping my cause anymore because I got so many tools to deal with you now between knowing about the double kick and Yoshi's tongue and this, that, and the other. I mean, when you're weaker than a tongue, that's, that's saying something. Uh, we'll get onto this airship. And I could, I guess, explore a little bit, but I'm not going to. Bum. I'll lick you. And I'll just leave you to wallow in the fact that you have been licked. Jump up, superstar. Shatter that. And why not, we'll give him some, ah, oh, no, I couldn't do it, okay. Now for real, I will give you something spicy to snack on. Aw, he never stops smiling. I gotta respect that about a guy. Do I have one star bit too few? <laughs> I do. Is there nothing else that I can do to get a star bit here? Because I'm kind of debating it. Oh, wait, no, I got six minutes of life. What am I saying? I actually sat there and thought if it was worth the prestige or not. Not sure what happens if you break open these Bowser Jr. statues, but... <laughs> Speak of the little baby devil himself. Don't you know when to quit? I'm gonna enjoy taking you out from the cozy confines of my robot cockpit. So you want a grand star, do ya? Well, come on, tough guy. Let's see if you're any match for Mega Hammer. <laughs> Foreshadowed back in the fiery flotilla, this control core on this robot was the thing he was piloting when he called in Gobblegut. Mega Hammer is weak to being shot in the nipples in no uncertain terms. His arms will cover up occasionally um, so that you can't hit him in the nipples. You just gotta wait for the right opening. But uh, when he's not rubbing them or being protective of them, they're right for the taking. We broke up in those two. And uh, he's got three nipples like that bad guy on James Bond. I don't know if there's actually a guy with three nipples like in James Bond. I don't know if James Bond actually has a bad guy with three nipples. I just heard them say that on Ed, Ed, and Eddie one time and thought it was hilarious. So I've been saying that my whole life, thinking that it's a reference, but I don't actually know that for sure because I've never seen a James Bond movie. Uh, we'll hit you again. And Mega Hammer is yet another obscure Mario character. He has appeared only in this and again in Minecraft Super Mario Edition. <laughs> he is what golems appear as in that version of the game. And, uh,. Something about this appearance looks kinda off, and I'm here to break some very troubling news to you. Mega leg, or uh, mega leg, uh, ham Mega Hammer, there we go, does not have legs. It looks terrible when you see it, and I hate it, and now you have to enjoy endure it as well. See, now Bowser Jr. is even embarrassed about his own robot. And if there's one more bit of trivia about him, it's that in earlier in development, he was known as Malatoid. We know this from an issue of Nintendo Power, as well as an interview with 1UP.com, which is now a defunct site. I seem to be talking about a lot of now defunct things in the media that are the only way that we know a lot of things. In other news, I can't stand Prima Guides, and they were the bane of my childhood. Uh, lead fire? Did it! Didn't have to wait for the full rotation, and that's two hits, done! Uh 
Hope you enjoy not having a glass enclosure in space. I can't imagine too many people can breathe in space like Yoshi and me and Bowser and Peach and Goombas and Koopas and Penguins and Ed Grinstar! Wait, what? <laughs> That's the only time that Yoshi ever collects a grand star. So that pose is entirely unique to that galaxy and that galaxy alone. I remembered that happening, that he has a special pose for it, but I didn't remember it being that silly. Rather cute. Oh. 50 stars. Feeling like a big shot. 21 Comet Medals, also a pretty big shoddy number in the real world. Great work, pal. That's your third Grand Star. Mm. All right, we're ready to fly through time and space. We don't fly through time! That Bowser monster is still out there somewhere, so let's ship out to the next world, Cap'n. <laughs> Hope we find plenty of new crewmates in this new world, because it seems like it's been a while since we've gotten one with the prankster comments and all. We've sure come a long way thanks to your efforts. Let's keep this good thing going. Am I right? The helm is yours. Cap em. I see how this world starts, and I'm excited already. <laughs> Next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna leave that name right there. See you guys then.